The simulator itself is implemented with standard internet web technologies. There is a public viewer that can be accessed that has useful information about news reports that may or may not affect your business. It also shows the current simulation date. This viewer console is accessed with the same login account details as SAP. At the end of each simulation round, this viewer page is updated with financial and operational results of all the teams in that simulation. With this information, you can gauge how well you're doing in relation to the competition. In the SAP system, we have much more detailed information about our own company. You don't have to wait for the end of the round to run it. One of the key advantages of the ERP systems such as SAP is that information is always live and up to date. At any point during the simulation, you can get a snapshot of your finances. Let's return to SAP and look at this report, as well as revisit the ones we already know about to see what story they tell us. Run the financial statement report. Its technical name is F.01. This report has one of the most detailed selection screens. Fortunately, we're not interested in most of these, only three of them. You must enter your company code, which is simply your team letter repeated twice. You must select SIM1 as the financial statement version. To control the output format of the report, you can choose from the set of list output options. Select the ALV tree control option and then execute the report. At some point, you will encounter a system warning or request for confirmation as we see here. To continue, click the confirm icon. This standard SAP report provides you with the balance sheet and the income statement of your company. If you've selected the ALV tree control display, you can see more details on each section of this report by expanding the folder. You can find your current bank account cash balance in the current assets section of the balance sheet. At the end of the report is the item you should be most interested in, your net income. This is your profit and the ultimate measure of whether you are managing your company well or not. The net income line corresponds to the cumulative profit or loss of your company since the beginning of the simulation. Starting from the second round, the reports will show financial results as they were at the end of the previous round. The difference column shows changes for the current round, allowing you to get an idea of your current performance against previous rounds. Use the sales summary report to analyze your sales performance over the previous round. On which day did you make your last sale of each of your six products? Does that correspond to your recollection of when you ran out of inventory of these products? In addition to this summary sales report, there are also two other sales reports. The sales order report offers more detailed information about each sales order. Where the product was sold, distribution channel and area, which product was sold and to whom or sold to party, the number of units sold, the sales revenue value, and the price at which the sale was made. You can also see information about when the customer will pay the invoice. In the manufacturing sim, customers pay their invoices anywhere between 10 and 20 days after delivery, but the behavior is different between the two distribution channels. This information is on the back page of the job aid. Can you find it? Which type of customer pays more quickly? The price market report is the only place other than the simulation viewer where you can get information about your competition. Think of this as an industry report published for everyone. It is only published once in each five simulated days with a summary of sales activity for the industry as a whole over the previous five days. This will permit you to benchmark your decisions against the rest of the market as you will be able to see for each product the average sales price of orders placed, total units sold, and revenue value in each distribution channel.